So when we remove a ball from the dog's mouth, we want to hold the collar. This prevents the dog's head from moving forward, backwards, left or right. If he can move his head forward, backwards, left or right, it becomes a tug game, which creates dominance. What we want to do is immobilize the head by holding the collar here or the neck and just hold the ball until he releases. It might take five minutes. We can give a gentle push. Notice that I'm not pulling or I'm not tugging. I'm just holding the ball and I'm holding the dog's head. He's eventually going to get tired and release it. Now we do the same thing again. Now it's my ball. I'm going to give it to him. Okay? And we go through the same process. After he lets it go the second time, then we can give a command like release or drop. Right when he lets the ball go, we want to say release or drop. You can feel it because it, you, you can feel it because he'll just spit it out. This is what most people don't do. They don't wait. They tug because they want to get the ball. But to teach the dog that he has to release the ball, you make him calm, hold his head so he can't move, and you just wait until he calms down, and he'll just let the ball go. And what's really important is you're waiting him out. Jared try it. Jared is the handler. 
Now grab the collar. Release. Just hold him. Release. Not too much pulling. Just wait till he calms down. Hold the head tighter so it can't move. Release. Good. Set. Now give him a double pat. Put it in his mouth again. Release. Excellent.